Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to episode three of the Entertainment Annotated Podcast. This is gonna be a quick one. Usually they've been going for like an hour or so, but I think, you know, just because I'm flying solo today, but also just due to the topics, we'll probably keep this one under 30 minutes, I would assume. But on this episode, we'll go over the announcement of a potential new James Bond actor, uh, new film delays for blockbusters worldwide, Tenant potentially threatening the status of theaters, which is also leading to our fourth and final segment, which is a scary update for movie theater chains everywhere, such as Regal and AMC and Cinemark. So if you're listening on YouTube, the first three segments are uploaded at 4, 6, and 8 p.m. Eastern time every Wednesday. And if you're just interested in hearing the entire audio plus a bonus bonus fourth segment, Follow the podcast on Spotify or SoundCloud, respectively. Links will be in the description, but also search Entertainment Annotated on either Spotify or SoundCloud. Those versions go up noon same day, which in this case is Wednesday. So just getting right into our first topic here with Tom Hardy, reportedly being announced as new James Bond. So according to the Vulcan Reporter, Daniel Craig's successor will be Venom and Mad Max actor Tom Hardy. Now, this cements a common belief that No Time to Die is indeed the final film of the Daniel Craig era, which has spanned five five films, actually five good films, starting with 2006's Casino Royale. And according to the Vulcan Reporter, the plans for Tom Hardy to be announced after the initial release of No Time to Die. However, the delays have created delays on this end. An official announcement about Tom Hardy's casting was expected for early 2021, but they don't want to obviously overshadow the final appearance of Daniel Craig as James Bond. You know, for those that haven't followed how many Bonds we've technically had, Tom Hardy will be the eighth actor to technically portray James Bond since the first film in 1962, which starred the infamous Sean Connery. Um, In other news actually regarding James Bond as well, when asked about the role in interviews, actor Henry Cavill said he'd gladly do it during an interview with GQ for the recently released Netflix film Enola Holmes, which he stars in as Sherlock, uh, the older brother of Enola. Now, he says, and I quote, if Barbara, who's a producer on James Bond, and Mike were interested in that, I would um, absolutely jump at the opportunity. At this stage, it's all up, to, all up in the air. We'll see what happens. But yes, I would love to play Bond. It would be very, very exciting. And I think I speak for a lot of people too when I say, Henry Cavill is James Bond. I can get behind easily. But also I can get behind Tom Hardy. I mean, I think, you know, is it a casting I expected? I think a lot of people have fan casted Tom Hardy, but I definitely didn't see it coming just because... For whatever reason, Tom Hardy to me, you know, whenever I think about Tom Hardy, I think of a lot of the more aggressive kind of vicious characters he's played in films, whether it is, you know, you go all the way back to Bronson, right? Or you go to Bane, or you go to just the the mobster uh, character he played where he played the twins. And I mean, it's just like, he's never really played in recent, maybe Inception he did, I guess. But for the most part, I never really think of him as like the James Bond kind of silky smooth you know kind of suave like i never really think of him in that way i think of him like the mad max like you know just kind of brutal not animalistic but you know he has this this kind of centristic ruggedness about his portrayals that just to me doesn't really seem like james bond and i guess you know the reason maybe i'm more open to an actor like henry cavill too is because i mean he was in the man of uncle where he basically played a spy like character so i can see him already in the role so i think with tom hardy he can do it i mean he's a fantastic actor he i mean everything he's in i feel like he gives it a thousand percent um the only other actor i feel that way about is like shia labeouf you know and shia labeouf is in a film i feel like he's giving his all or else there's no point of him even doing it on his end if that makes sense So, you know, really, I'm pretty excited about this. Now, it's not confirmed yet. So technically, take it as a rumor as of now. And I'll put a link in the description for those who want to check out the original article from the Vulcan Reporter. But they seem like they're pretty on their stuff, if you know what I mean, Uh, in terms of when they are reporting scoops. It doesn't really seem like they just, you know, it's not like we got this covered.com or whatever, where they post everything and anything under the sun, hoping that a clock, you know, hits right at least twice a day. Like, it's not like that. It's actually like these people have a reputation and they are using it to say that this is a valid report. So 
I'm definitely all for this. Leave your comments down below. What do you guys think about Tom Hardy potentially being the new James Bond? You know, originally this news came out like two weeks ago, but we just haven't had a new episode since uh, mid-September. So uh, that is why this has carried over so long and somehow still, I would argue, is relevant. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this episode. I cut it down from four to three segments midway. So I hope you guys are okay with that. But leave your comments down below about this topic and the other topics. Again, uh, thanks for listening to episode three of the Entertainment Annotated podcast. Uh, The episode will go up at 4, 6, and 8 p.m. respective Eastern time um, every Wednesday for the, the first three video segments. But if you want to hear the entire audio version, just check it out on Spotify and SoundCloud. Links will be in the description of the video segments and also uh, published on noon Eastern time, same day, just for future reference. But thanks for listening and we'll catch you guys later.